Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are a returning subscriber, go ahead and like this video. And if you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe with the notification bell so you never miss a video with me. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. Today's video is gonna be all about how I've lost a couple pounds over the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how I am trying to speed up my metabolism and trying to gain more muscle. If you're someone who has already decreased your calories down to 1200 calories and now you want to know where to go from here, um, you feel like you don't want to decrease any more calories because that's kind of way not enough calories to sustain and you feel like if you increase your calories that you will gain some fat. Um, I'm going to be giving you, you guys some tips on how you can increase your calories without gaining fat to speed up your metabolism. So if that describes you, then just keep on watching the video. So let's talk a little bit about metabolism. Metabolism is made up of your total daily energy expenditure, and this is made up of a couple different things. The first thing that is made up of your total daily energy expenditure is your basal metabolic rate, and this is the amount of energy that you burn at complete rest. So if you were to sit on the couch all day and just breathe, this is your basal metabolic rate. The second thing is your physical activity, so this is uh, made up of your workouts, any walking that you do during the day, um, just any physical activity that you expend during the day. Number three is your thermic effect of food and this is the energy and calories that you burn while you're eating and while your um, body is digesting your food. And the fourth thing is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis and this is um, movements that you do like talking with your hands, fidgeting throughout the day, so whenever we think of trying to lose weight, lose some fat, we think of eating less and moving more, such as going to the gym and eating a salad. And this can actually be really bad for you because your total body weight will decrease, but rather than um, gaining fat or gaining muscle rather, you are losing muscle and losing fat, which is, um, kind of counterproductive in the long run because muscle is more metabolically active than fat. So um, we need that muscle to keep burning fat for us and to keep us moving um, so that we're not like losing progress just by decreasing our calories initially and that being it. If you have already decreased your calories down to the normal 1200 calories where everyone um, decreases, and you feel like you can't decrease any more calories. Like, this is kind of where I'm at too, so I'm only speaking from my um, point of view. What I'm trying to start doing is um, increasing my calories slowly. So I have added on an extra 100 calories and I'm gonna do that for a month. And um, I'm focusing more on hypotrophy movements, so I am trying to gain muscle. So I'm lifting a lot more, I'm lifting a lot heavier. Um, so gaining that muscle is what's going to help us so that we can start eating more calories and yeah. And I also want to mention on top of initially decreasing our calories, um, the like during our workouts, you might think that you're having a really great workout, but if you're running off of less calories, then your actual rate of exertion could be lower because you have less energy and you may not know it because you have like adjusted to the amount of calories that you're intaking. Okay, and now I want to talk about how I have recently been changing up my training sessions. Like I said, I have been trying to focus more on lifting more and lifting heavier, um, but I also have been really enjoying um, a full body like functional workout where um, I'm getting my heart rate up and I'm still lifting a little bit. It's a lot more fun for me to train this way because it's getting my body moving rather than just getting in there and like crushing my like lift sessions when I'm like trying to gain muscle. It's, um, I'll kind of use this like as my cardio throughout the week. That kind of concludes how I have changed my training and the way that I have been trying to increase my calories and the way that I'm doing that. 
So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the workout section of this video. She cares about his money in the city where she's from Her intention is the paper, she don't need no fucking love She's smelling all this liquor, trying to pass me all these cups Oh baby girl, I'm told and somebody should have told her All I care about is money and the city that I'm from I'm sing until I feel it, I'ma go until it's done I don't need to say what's up, my excuse is that I'm young And I'm only getting older, somebody should have told you I'm on one Me and my 